Hey guys, I'm Eric Vallon. I'm a lifestyle portrait photographer based out of New York City. So what we're gonna cover today is the Sun Bounce lineup, the Sun Bounce and the Sun Swatter. And with these two tools, it's gonna give you total control of the light out on location. One's gonna knock down and lower the contrast in that harsh sunny afternoon light, and the other ones are gonna help you build in soft light and contrasty light to contour your subjects. So between the two, it's gonna give you complete control of natural light when you're out there shooting on location. All right, so here we have the Sun Bounce. This is a three by four foot reflector, and this one is actually the Sun Bounce Mini, so it fits right in the middle of the lineup. They've got smaller ones, they've got larger ones, but this is one of my favorites to start with because you can tell by its size, it's gonna give you enough coverage for a three quarter or a full body shot, and it'll also give you a really soft light if you bring it in close for a head shot or a tighter portrait like that. So let's start looking at a couple things that make the Sun Bounce unique and why after using all kinds of reflectors all over the world, I decided to run with this in my location kit. So the first thing is gonna be the quality of light. And what I love about these guys in particular is the fact that it's one of the few large reflectors out there that give you the crossbars. The crossbars are gonna give us that tension all throughout the reflector. Now most reflectors are gonna have the frame obviously on the outside, but then in the middle, it starts to sag. And the bigger the reflector gets, the more play you're gonna have in the middle of the reflector. Now that's gonna give you problems down the road when you're trying to aim that light down range and focus it on your subject. If you have a light breeze, it's gonna be flapping around like a sail that's doing you no good. So what's great about the sun bounce is no matter what size bounce you get, you're gonna have different crossbars here. You're gonna notice the smaller one has a single. We're on the three by four footer here. It's got two of them. When we go to the pro, it's got three crossbars. That's gonna ensure that no matter what size your reflector is, it's gonna give you maximum control and the most even spread of your light. The second great thing about these crossbars, which really makes these shine, is it allows you to hold it a lot easier. Two-handed makes it really easy to hold. You can get it up in position, up over your subject. You can shade them, reflect. So these guys are great because they ensure quality light through a taut surface, but also make it really easy to hold. And the final thing that I really love about the Sun Bounce is how easy it is to use on location. A lot of people are working out there without an assistant, so that's when these crossbars really come into play because it's easy to set up with other grip equipment. With one of the custom grip heads, we can easily put this on a light stand, a boom arm, and place the reflector anywhere we need in the scene with no assistance required. Not only is it easy to mount and get on the light stand, it's also easy to maneuver and do those minute adjustments once it's on the light stand itself. So no matter if you have someone helping you in person or you have a light stand sitting there doing the heavy lifting for you, you're gonna be able to get that light in the position for the perfect portrait every time. So let's take a look at the diffusion options that we have in the Sun Bounce lineup. These are called the Sun Swatters and they do just that. You put them on a pole, you use it like a giant fly swatter and you knock down that tough intensity of that high noon overhead harsh light. Let me jump right in and talk about quality first off because again, you do not want to buy or spend money on a product if the light isn't going to give you the best possible quality. What's going to be unique about the Sun Swatter is these crossbars. Just like the Sun Bounce has them, the Swatters have them too. It ensures that no matter what size I'm using, I'm gonna have that tension throughout the entire material to give me that even diffused quality to my light. Now this is a three by four foot option. Doesn't matter what my size, I know that I'm out on location shooting, I can go as big as I want, and the quality and the tension in the material is gonna stay the same. Let's start looking at what makes it easy and fun to use when you're out there shooting on location. The first unique thing is the actual sun swatter apparatus. It comes with an extension pole here that connects to our bracket and it gives us that fly swatter kind of looking tool. This is really unique because most of the time when you're working with large diffusion panels, you're gonna require a bracket on either side and at least two light stands to get that thing held up in the air over your subject. Now that's really time consuming to set up. It makes a larger footprint so you're gonna have to pull permits. It's difficult to move around if you're the run and gun kind of shooter. So what's really unique about the sun swatter is that it goes together just like a giant fly swatter and is then handheld, so really easy to move around. This cross strap right here allows you to tighten that to make sure you maintain maximum tension on the diffusion material. And then this guy right down here, the yellow strap attaches to the pole to make sure that we keep this super taut and out of the way and also so it's not flapping around in the wind so when we raise it up, everything's locked down so we've got maximum control. 
So we've got maximum quality with the design of the crossbars up here, and we've got maximum control with the dual cinching strap system down here on the bottom. Quality and control means that we can run just about anywhere, can have an assistant fly this over, no need for the light stands, the time consuming and heavy sandbags and things to set up. We did this in a matter of minutes and we're out there shooting with beautiful soft light on our subject. You'll also want to take notice over here of the actual pole itself. It's spring loaded so that it's not going to smash down and crush any fingers or pinch you when your assistant's working with it on location. It's also really, really, really long, so if you've got a higher shot or you want to get out of the way and really boom this over your subject, you've got plenty of distance or length to do that. You've also got the padded materials right here, which make it comfortable to hold for long term. It's really easy and lightweight to get up out of the way as well. So once you've got this out there, one of the biggest hurdles that we find shooting on location with any kind of reflectors or scrims is the wind. So there's a unique design element in the sun swatter that when we find ourselves on those windy days, rather than tearing your material or wearing out your assistant, it's actually designed to flip. And by flipping over like this, the wind will catch it and flip it over, and then really quickly and easily your assistant can just grab it and put it right back into position. So by designing the sun swatter to work with the wind rather than fighting against it, it's going to be a lot easier on the equipment itself and on the assistant.